All right, we got Frank Mir against Alistair Overeem. Um, I'm giving you guys a look at this winter wonderland. It's hardly a wonderland, miserable land, really. Freezing cold. I'm right outside Chicago. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we got Frank Mir versus Alistair Overeem. Frank Mir has looked terrible for a long time. He beat Noguera. Um, but he was basically like punch drunk out of it, ready to collapse in that fight. And he pulled off the submission just because, you know, he's just really good at, at that, you know. But he barely won that fight, you know. Yeah, skill won him the fight, but, I mean, he looked didn't look good in that fight. Alistair has looked, looked good, actually. Um... But he's still using his steroid, you know, training uh, training strategy, fighting strategy, which is just go in and and punch you, and after a couple punches, you're done. The problem is, without the steroids, he hits you a couple times, you're still standing because he's not as strong. But he's still fighting great, but the thing is, his defense, you don't need defense when you can hit that hard. You just hit him a couple times, and they're, and they're, and they're done. But it, it, his problem now is, uh, is a, it's a defense uh, training strategy. He switched camps, and I believe that's really going to help him out if he still has any chin left. Because that guy's been knocked out a lot of times and been fighting a long time, and it, it's, it's getting worse. He really probably should take another year off without taking any more uh, head damage, brain damage. And it'd probably be a less chance of him getting knocked out. You know, let your brain recover a little bit. But, um, so it's hard to say. I mean, Frank Mir knocks people out too. And I don't think anybody that's 200, you know, whatever Frank Mir weighs, uh, I don't think it's too hard for him to knock out uh, Alistair. I mean, I just probably a 170 pounder could knock out Alistair. With the way his uh, his glass jaw has been going, and just the shape he's in with that at at his age, so it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. But Alistair has changed camps. If he can, you know, get in, hit hard, and get out, and and not take these heavy shots to the chin, you know. Uh, then, I mean, I think it's going to be an easy win for him. If I have to put my money on it, I'm putting it on Overeem. Just because Overeem has looked really, really good. But, uh, I don't know if overconfidence the word. Just, he's got to be more cautious. He's got to get like Vanderlei. Look at Vanderlei. Vanderlei's been fighting great. You know, get in, get out. You know, get in, get out. Vanderlei's changed his style. And he's... He's he's really uh, looked great, you know, because it's not because his chin's so much better. Of course, now Vanderlei's chin is better because he hasn't been knocked out for quite a while. Um, but that's what Overeem's got to do. He just um, he uh, just has to get a better training camp and. And I think he'll do fine. I think he, I, I suspect Overeem's going to go in and, and uh, clean house with Mir in the first round. I don't think Mir's going to last long. That guy hits. He hits hard. Even off the, the roids. And now he's been off the roids a little longer too. So his body's had time to adjust. And I don't know if he's got him back on some TRT. Which is steroids. But it's a smaller amount. If, if he's on TRT too, that's going to help him as well. So, my money's on Overeem. Uh, it's a school bus down here for. Um, my money's on Overeem for this fight. But, you know, <laughs> don't be surprised if Frank Mir just goes in and knocks him out too. Uh, or submits him, you know. I don't think he'll submit him, but, I mean, you can never count Frank Mir out, but... God, he's just looked terrible. He really, he really has. So, I, I, I would say it's about 
a 70% chance of Overeem winning this fight, just statistically and how they've been fighting and how they match up. So it should be an easy one for, for Overeem. I mean, really, who's easier to, to knock out than Frank Mir and beat than right now than Frank Mir in the heavyweight division? Not Not too many people. So, but even after that, even if he wins, I, I think both these guys are, are pretty much done. Whoever wins the fight, I mean, what, who are they going to fight for their next fight? You know, and beat. You know, even the guys that are at the bottom of the barrel heavyweights in the UFC are, I mean, I wouldn't want to fight them. You know what I mean? So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.